All right, hopefully it works this time. This is the third time I've tried to make this video. Um, guys, I made a big mistake yesterday uh, with this play. Um, I could have entered where you see the risk reward right now, um, but instead I was greedy yesterday and I tried to enter here um, with a stop loss that looked something like that ish. And uh, see if I can manipulate this here oh my gosh man I'm having one of those days in my stop yeah it was something like this I was at like two percent so for some reason I picked up here um, it was based on a daily fib that wasn't relevant any longer it's so what happens whenever you have a million lines on your chart and you're not paying close enough attention. Um, anyways, I had it set up something like that. Uh, so circles here is a beautiful pullback to pivot. Um, bread and butter for me. Uh, but I didn't take it because my actual entry was way the hell up here. So the lesson for today is do not manipulate your entry nor your profit target in order to get a better risk reward. Instead, the alternative is to manipulate your stop loss. So, let me move this back to where it should have been. Something like this. Uh, this is my, uh, a more aggressive stop loss than usual, which I, I can live with because that's usually what I would do. Um, and I'll aim down here, which is where my green line is, my support here. You can't see it because the fib's in the way. Let me move the fib real quick so you guys can see it. See the green line, uh, the green support on the pivot. So it lines up with the 414 exactly. Um, that's where my new profit target is. That's where my, my new entry is on pivot. I've got a 50 coming down to kind of uh, stuff that. And then I've got my uh, stop loss just above the 200 on the new trade. So this is a 1.58. This trade should have been a 1.17. It's not a big trade. It wasn't a big trade when I shaped it up. And therefore, I decided that I wanted to try to squeeze more out of the trade. Um, instead of manipulating the stop loss like I could have uh, come down to something like this, which is super aggressive, um, it still would have worked out. And um, yeah, we would have bled a little bit. Yes, it's risky, but I'm still into this trade. If I'm not in the trade on a beautiful pullback to pivot like this, if I'm not in the trade, I don't stand to make even the little one-to-one -one profit that I was afraid of. This little one-to-one, -one, usually not worth it for me type of trade. This is what I first saw whenever I shaped this trade up. Um, the honest truth is my profit target and my entry should not be manipulated. Those two stay the same most of the time and you want to just have the only variable being your stop loss. This is how I make more money as I take on more risk. So that's how it looks. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about and wanted to show you. All right, peace.